Hey everybody, it's Lauren here for the MLS Denim slash Miss Lacey Studios YouTube channel. I'm coming to you today because I am going to be creating what, and this is my own terminology, a halter slash cold shoulder sweatshirt. And I'm going to be using the sweatshirt that I have on today. Anyone who knows me or has worked out with me knows that I wear this sweatshirt all the time, especially when it's cold and especially um, like in the fall too. Um, I love the color, so I don't want to part with it, but as you can tell, there are some stains and stuff. So what I'm actually going to do to cover up those stains, probably going to do some splatter painting after I cut it out. I'm going to kind of see how it goes. So hopefully those splatter paints will cover up those stains and stuff. Um, but I'm just kind of really excited just to kind of see how it turns out. So stay tuned for the rest of the video. Hope you enjoy it. sweatshirt looks like so far nice dip in the back so what I'm going to do now is I am going to take the sweatshirt and I'm going to put it on my mannequin and I'm going to do some splatter techniques with it I'm going to try to do it out on my little porch or my little balcony in my apartment um, and see how that goes um, if you do decide to do this make sure you are wearing some clothes that you don't care if you get them kind of messy or messed up or anything like that um, I'm going to be changing from these sweatpants because these are my favorite ones and when I feel like bumming it outside, I wear these. Um, make sure if you can get some, like these are like dishwashing gloves, so I'm going to use these to actually splatter. Um, I'm just going to dip my hand in the paint and then just pretty much just flick it. Um, but I'm also going to be using some paint brushes as well. So um, just kind of make sure you have maybe some things covered if you don't want them to get put paint on it. I'm probably going to cover up some things because I want my security deposit back when I leave. So um, yeah, go ahead and get this started. Also, wanted to tell you guys, make sure if you can, if you have a scrap that you can use, um, use it to experiment when you're using paints that you're not really familiar with to see exactly how the fabric is going to react to the paint. Sometimes it could bleed, sometimes it, um, the material will not adhere to the paint, and then what you'll get is you'll, um, it'll dry, and then you'll literally be able to peel it off. So please, please make sure you can at least get a little scrap of the material and experiment first because you don't want to um, waste your uh, material. So what I am going to be using is called um, Jacquard, J-A-C-Q-U-A-R-D textile color. Um, it is for natural or synthetic fabrics. So um, I use this for another, um, piece that I had done for a client. So I really, really like the colors because the ones that I did for that client were nice and bright. So I'm going to be using these um, as well as probably the white. Um, but then I also have a couple of other um, paints that I use. I really love using Tulip. And um, I've used Scribbles before. I don't really know if this, yeah, not gonna be using that one. But I really like Tulip's paints. Um, I have a whole, whole bunch of those. Um, but those typically go good as well because I use those a lot of time on my denim pieces that I do for clients. Um, so Tulip, Scribbles, Jacquard, I'm just going to kind of experiment, just kind of see how it goes. Um, I'm going to be using just a paintbrush. I'm just going to dip it in there and just kind of splatter it. Make sure you have something underneath so that the paint will not stain um, your materials. Um, or if you don't have something like I have a piece of this is illustration board if you don't have that um, you can always use paper bags I use one from this place that I love to eat 
Um, but yeah, if you have those or even plastic bags, but just something that your uh, material can lay on flat and then um, you can kind of see how the paints and stuff are going to dry on the material flat and you can kind of see whether or not it's going to bleed or not. So I'm going to go ahead and experiment and um, you can kind of see with me how it's going to go. All right. much of that the green actually seeped in really really quickly um so i'm just going to kind of wait for it to dry i think the green is probably the one that's bleeding the most uh but not in a in a messy nasty way so um very very happy about that don't know if i'm going to use all these colors but i just kind of wanted to see exactly what it was going to look like um but so far so good Okay, so as you can see, pretty much got everything set up. I have wrapped my mannequin in plastic bags and put saran wrap around the legs because when I do the splattering, I don't want it to get everywhere. Um, and then I got some boxes and stuff behind here so that it doesn't um, stain the lattice work. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and begin. And I'm just gonna kind of show you things like via time lapse and I'll just edit it and put, you know, words or whatever over it because there are going to be cars coming by, they're going to be loud, and I don't want it to ruin the video. So, I am excited to go ahead and start.
this sweatshirt I still have a couple of areas that I need to do some stuff with especially down here under the cuff um, same thing on this side um, but I'm gonna let this dry for a couple of hours or I'll probably let it dry like for a day or two and then I'll go back in and work on the under parts because because this um, paint is layered on top of each other it's going to take a day or two for it to completely dry and then um, once I do that then I'll be able to wash it and uh, see how it comes out so here's everything and I'll check it tomorrow if it does dry fast um, then hopefully I will be able to get to this maybe a little bit sooner um, but you just want to make sure that the paint is completely, completely dry first. Um, and then I'll be able to show you what it looks like on me. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching part one of the video. Please stay tuned for part two of the video to see the reveal. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel.